What's good guys, we back at it again with another video. As you can see from the title, just having a little convos with BT video. We actually do have two games today at the prep uh, later on, but you know, I still had to come, you know, have a little convo with you guys. Uh, I'm actually starting to feel that, that bug come back like I had at the beginning when I first started the channel or shoot, even probably a couple months ago where I was five out of seven days, six out of seven, I'm starting to feel that, that creative, you know what I'm saying? It's starting to come back to me. I, thought I had lost it for a little bit, but it, it has starting to come back, that drive, that, you know what I'm saying, to post a lot. Um, so expect that in the near future again. And the only thing that's really gonna be changing is, you know what I'm saying, the certain days, instead of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, is gonna be okay, when can I find free time, but I'm still gonna try to get out at least three to four videos a week, right? But today, got a couple things I wanna talk about, you know, talking about NBA or what's happening in the real world. Um, also, we are still going to be coming with a motivational minutes video tomorrow because I feel like you guys, uh, I, I, I need to keep doing those because I, I get like a whole lot of most of my most of my DMs that I get, you know, it's either recruiting or it's, you know, I'm struggling with some part of, you know, the person is struggling with some part of themselves, whether that be, you know, what I'm saying their confidence and whether that be confidence off the court or confidence translating that onto the court or just things like that so we're gonna keep doing that we have one of those dropping tomorrow but as i was saying one of the first things i want to uh talk about first i gotta say shout out to zaire way leangelo ball like these are players who you know what i'm saying everyone would like to view as silver spoon you know what i'm saying they they didn't get it out the mud as, as people would say it like everybody else did but jello last night I think he had either at 21 or 22 in his first G League game. Like that's big time. Like go back, watch watch my uh, summer league breakdown on him. Like I said, there's no way because, you know, especially me, it's weird for me because, you know, I consider myself, okay, I, I was a pretty good college basketball player. And, you know, the circles I was in when I was in college or even before when I was playing AAU, obviously I was around some pretty high level players. I've seen them. You know, I know, I know what pros like look like, things like that. So there are certain players in the league, in the NBA that, you know what I'm saying? I know for a fact, you know, I'm not saying I'm not in no, in no words am I saying I'm better than or anything like that, but I'm saying, okay, in terms of comparing him to Jello, you know what I'm saying? J uh, some, some players in the league, I'd have to take Jello over them, right? Especially when like this dude is a specialist in the league, the, the, one of the biggest ways to stick is to have a specialty and be able to do that day in, day out. This dude is Le Leangelo, as we all know, He's a shooter and it translates. He's done it in high school. He's done it in summer league. He's done it in G league. He's done it in pickup against NBA players. So what do you think is gonna happen when you put him on an NBA court? That's all I'm gonna say about that. Zaire, shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? I, I Like I said, uh, I think we did in another convos video just talking about him, how, you know, just when I was playing in Florida, you know, the word was, yeah, he's, he's, he's overrated. He's not that. He's one of those NBA player sons who doesn't really, you know, uh, do do a lot with their athletic part. You know what I'm saying? Um, so to see him drop 10 points in his, an efficient 10 points in his first uh, G League game, that's big time. That's big time. That's just proving all the haters like, yeah, I have been putting that work in and I deserve to be here regardless of whether you think I, I deserve to be or not. So shout out to him. Um, translating or just going going into uh, we'll talk about Cade Cade Cunningham, right? Had a bit of a rough start. I think he started shooting from three about over what is he? Oh, he was over fourteen, over fifteen. Bro, you guys gotta understand. Like, you can't just call call these kids bus. You can't call them bus early because this dude's coming off injury. He hasn't been playing a lot, obviously, because he's been injured, things like that. You know what I'm saying? So. You're really just throwing him out there. He has to get acclimated. He has to get his feet back under him, right? Like this dude was a 40% shooter in college, 85% from the line. So he's a, he can shoot the ball. And I think he shot somewhere around the same, about 40. I think it was 40, 45. I'm not sure, but he shot really well from the three in summer league. So this dude can shoot the ball. It's just going to be a matter of getting his legs under him, translating, right? Same thing when I was talking about with uh, Jay Hardy. That transition from from just going from college to the NBA, because a lot of people don't really understand like the differences, like how good 
like NBA basketball players are. Like, so think about it like this. You're the best player on your high school team. Most of the time, the best player on your high school team go to college, right? And in college, you have everybody in college was the best player on their high school team. And depending on the level, were probably the best player in their region. Or if you're at Kentucky or Duke, the best player in their state, right? So, and like I said, Kentucky and Duke, you might have best player in the Southeast, Northwest, like the best player in the entire couple of states, right? So you go from the bed, you go, you go from playing just high school players to all of the best players in the country. You're competing with them day in, day out, going against them every day in practice, right? And then, okay, you decide, I want to take the next step to be a professional. These dudes in the pros are the best college basketball players that there were. And like, it may, and like people, people, people don't really understand it until like, like I played at LA Fitness a couple weeks ago with my boy, you know, just seeing like, okay, do I still got it? Can I still play? And the people don't really understand the difference between the levels when they see me, a center, like a center who's been a center his entire career, a really a shot blocker defender. You know what I'm saying? I think the most I averaged in college was like four or five points. So you see that and you would think, you know, oh, he's a center. He can't do anything. And I show up to L.A. I wish I would have recorded it for you guys, but I'm bringing the I'm a point guard. I'm bringing the ball up. I'm da 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 da. No looks. I'm going coast to coast dunking. I'm doing everything. I look like that at L.A. Fitness. But on college basketball court, you know what I'm saying? There was none of that. There was there was no dribbling. There was no any of that. So just to put that in perspective, the differences, like I call, I call NBA players for lack of a better term, like they're the basketball, like gods, like, of course we don't want to call nobody, you know, God, but these dudes are like the upper echelon. Like these dudes barely miss. Like you have to understand that. So to, for that transition, like Jay Hardy, K, it's just going to be tough at first. These dudes are, they go from being better than everybody, more athletic to players that are just as athletic as you, just as skilled as you, you know what I'm saying? So it's a little bit of an adjust period, adjustment period. You got to let these guys develop things like that. Shout out Jalen Green. He's been getting off. I ain't going to lie to you. Um, Evan Mobley, he's been hooping too. Who else? Oh, yeah. We got to talk about RTB, MB, Miles Bridges. Miles Bridges. Like, this dude got to be one of the coldest NBA player. No, he's a rapper. He's a rapper that also plays in the NBA, not an NBA player that's a rapper. Like, this dude... I don't know if you guys listen to him. This dude can go like, and just for his jump, I think he jumped from what? 12, 12 points a game to 24. Turned down a four year, $60 million contract to bet on himself. This is why I talk to you guys all the time about having your own type of self-confidence and being able to understand what your own value is because he's about to get over a hundred in the open market. Like he's about to get over a hundred M's because he bet on himself. And that's why I always come to you guys and say, know what your value is don't take anything less than that but he's, he's he, but also the other part of that he's been putting that work in obviously you're not you're not doubling your points per game like that and you might be an all-star for the first time without putting that work in so just me just knowing like okay this dude has been putting his work in on the court off the court he rapping like and he can he can go you know what i'm saying like like he's a rapper that plays in the league not the other way around so that, I just think that's, you know, that's that's tough. That's that's extremely tough. Like this dude is a, a monster, monster. What uh, Tron say? What when I uh, when I hear it's up, Miles Bridges, I got big bounce. It's tough, tough. Like he was just on a song with uh, Baby Tron. Check that out too. Also, um, on a more serious note, I do want to talk about the little um, Henry Rugg situation, right? So for all my younger younger people in general, not even, you know, athletes, just younger people in general. Um, uh, like when you're younger, I kind of went through this. I'm still, I'm still, I'm not even, I'm still kind of going through it. When you're younger, my mom actually tells me all the time, you have this kind of, you think you're uh, invincible, right? You think you're invincible, untouchable. No one can, like nothing can hurt you. You can do whatever you want. And that's, that's just for a regular 18 to 22 year old right so imagine being an 18 to 22 year old who who's uh who's a star 
in a professional league, uh, a person who became a millionaire in a little in a in a couple seconds, like literally in a couple seconds, became a millionaire, and you have access to all this money all of a sudden. So imagine how much more that becomes inflated. You feel like no one can touch you. You can do whatever you want. Things like that, you know. So, you know, I'm not I'm not coming on here to bash him, or you know what I'm saying, like. I just I just got to tell all of y'all like you got to you got to make smart decisions and understand that you know there's consequences for everything you do whether they're positive or negative there will be consequences for every single thing you do so for him just to say like just for him to understand where his mindset was you know he was inebriated and he still decided to to be that reckless you know and and it end up um costing someone their life like you know, that, that for me, it's like, you just gotta, you really gotta understand what's at stake, especially for him. Like you, you, God gave you these gifts, these talents, things like that. And you can't, you can't just squander it. You can't just feel like, oh, I can go do this. Nobody's going to touch me. I can just, I can speed or I can, I can, you know what I'm saying? Do all these, well, we can be honest. Like, okay, I can, I can, I can't, you like, okay, I'm immortal. I can drive. I can drive reckless. I can do all these drugs. I can do this, this, and that. Life doesn't work like that. There are, there are going to be consequences. You cannot just do what you want. That's not how this works. So, you know, just prayers out to him, um, his, or, you know, the woman's family, um, of course, but just for both parties, um, you know, I just, it's just a terrible situation, which that would have never happened. But for you guys, I just want to make sure that you all understand like i said like just make sure you understand what you're doing and how it can affect other people before you decide to do it um but like i said we are going to be coming with a motivational minutes video tomorrow um so you know be on the lookout for that appreciate you guys watching wish us luck on getting these two dubs today like share subscribe turn on post notifications um well now, like i always say one-on-one -on -one instruction subscriber breakdowns get posted on the channel hit the uh website Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time with the next video.